Hey all, I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my military FPV drone course where we learn um, just the base, basic stuff about um, military FPV um, so you can uh, start studying or already start um, understanding the work of FPV drone operator on the battlefield. Of course, you will need way more training than just this course, but at least I think it's a, a good base and it's a good uh, place to start. Okay. So today I'm gonna we're gonna be talking about the goggles. So goggles basically you can use pretty much whatever you want as goggles. Um, here in Ukraine, I saw a lot of those. Um, the Sky Zone Cobra. There's uh, also other models, other brands. Um, it's a personal preference, honestly. And there's some operator that just don't use the Google. They use um, they use a computer computer screen instead. So it's a it's all a, per, a uh, it's a personal preference. So yeah, let's uh, let's open this and let's get into it. Okay, so this is the box here. Let's open. This is some foam pieces for pads. If you want to install them. So this is the strap, we will install this one later. So this is uh, a power cord you can with a XT60 connector so you can power the battery of this one uh, in the DC port and connect uh, the connector to a um, FPV battery. So we have the two stock antenna that comes that are going to be installed right like so. We, otherwise, we have a USB-C cable. We have some kind of uh, jack cable and some uh, video and audio cable. So let's see. On the Google device, so on top you have the power button, you have the record button on the left, the mode button right here, and uh, you have the true sc um, scrolling so you can switch between um, options. On top here is the receiver compartment. You can remove this 
but I'm gonna leave it like this, like this for now. Okay, let's check the bottom. We have a USB-C, um, DC in, HD out. We have a um, Mi micro SD card, mini HDMI, and audio video and battery compartment. So you can power the goggles. You can put one 18, 18650 battery in this compartment or you can power it using this here through a FPV battery. But what we do for us, we use a power bank and uh, we plugged it using the USB-C. That's the most uh, convenient, convenient way that we use it. What I like is uh, it's there is a decent uh, space inside so if you are if you wear glasses they will have enough place for you um, to wear your glasses inside inside the goggles before turning on i'm going to install the antenna just in case i don't want to burn anything or Those goggles here are going to be a donation. I'm gonna send them to Wichugan FPV Drone School. Um, it's in very good, I think one of the best school in Ukraine where you can uh, learn FPV Drone. And also the certificate they give is, uh, comes di directly from the Minister of Defense of Ukraine. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty, de pretty decent school. So we just sent, them for like three thousand dollar usd of supplies so if you follow uh, those of freedom on instagram you will be able to uh, to see all the fundraisers that we are doing for either uh, mostly fpv drone teams uh, but it was also a pleasure to help we gun because they are also a non-profit so they only re rely on donations you know so Okay, so now I have power because of the green light here. So let's uh, turn those on using the power button here. Okay, so now I will press this button here, the mode, and then with the right roll, I can change the band so I there are I can switch the number or I can switch the letter there is the menu uh, you can uh, switch to HDMI and uh, you can go there are a few settings that uh, you can uh, change uh, in uh, that menu there uh, now the, there's no drone connected so it's uh, like um, this like snow shows a uh, snow in the image but when you connect uh, your drone just make sure on beta flight you you put the vtx in one channel and then uh like let's say you say r8 channel i'm gonna see that later then you come on here and then you switch the band 
from the menu on top you make sure it match the one you put in beta flight and then the and then it's gonna come up okay so yeah guys pretty straightforward those are pretty decent goggles to use with high resolution screen and it's uh, not that expensive okay you can use whatever you prefer it's gonna be it's gonna be a preference like for you and whatever your team is uh, using just use what your unit is using so if you have been following the course in uh, order well we saw the controller now you have been practicing on liftoff and um, now you know how the goggles work um, so soon we will uh, start uh, building a, our actual drones that'll be interesting so please give a follow follow those are freedom on instagram become a member of our patreon and our youtube channel to support us and i'm gonna see you on the next tutorial peace everyone